Should the Atlanta Falcons use the number four pick in the upcoming draft for a quarterback? Should they trade up to get a higher pick for a quarterback? Or should they just stand pat and build amount around Matt Ryan? I'll start with this one. I've been saying it. Justin Fields at number four is a great option. If he's not there somehow, some way, mm -hmm. they should go with Trey Lance. I think when you look at Terry Fox, I know, and I'm happy this brother got an opportunity, got a job at, at a reasonable age. I think he's thinking we got to set the culture. We need to build towards the future. Yep. Matt Ryan can still play. I And I do. I'm one of those guys who believe Terry Fontenot would have entertained the idea of trading Matt Ryan if other teams wanted that contract. But they don't want that contract. That goes back to the argument when I was putting some of these younger quarterbacks above Matt Ryan because of where they are in their careers right now. Because obviously there, there must not be a lot of calls for Matt Ryan if they're not entertaining trades. Okay, And they're neither sold on him either because you you don't see arthur smith or even arthur blank Let, let's just go to the owner arthur blank coming out and saying Blanket. matt ryan is our guy why, why is it this conversation happening if, if they believe he's that guy that makes yeah. me think they try to shop him so yes the falcons like need to go with a quarterback at number four get a quarterback but let's just say they trade back if the falcons trade back and get an edge rusher or if they get another offensive lineman like they did two drafts ago where they got two offensive linemen in the first round. So let's just, Both busts, right? Yeah, yeah, let, let, Neither one of them. And, and let's, let, let's act like they don't put support I'm on just, I'm just asking. Because let's remember, when you when you draft two guys in the first round to show support towards your quarterback, that's support. Some guys don't get that. Now, the Falcons need a cultural change. They, they, they need to think about winning games and not passing yards. I think a lot of this Matt Ryan thing, Matt Ryan throws a lot of passing yards. It's good. But if you watch the games, late games, that, that culture, that culture. You look at Tampa Bay, I hate to bring it up, but Tom Brady, people want to bring up the all pros. No, it's that culture late game. Like, we got this. We're going to change. No, we're not going with that play. Okay, why isn't Matt Ryan calling the plays to the line of script? That's my issue. That's He's supposed to be the leader, the savior. He's supposed to win these games. He's not doing it. I pay you all this money. You're not winning us games. Now say Fowler, he's not showing up either. So that that's what makes me think if they don't bring in a free agent, and I know they have cap problems, and if they trade back, I think you get an edge rusher. I don't go offensive line. I go edge rusher. You get an edge, maybe the kid out of what's saying Rosario, the kid out of Miami who who opted out for for that year, but in 2019 he was second to sacks behind Young, mm -hmm. who who went second in the draft. Chase Young, I think they go get him. But if they stay at number four, they definitely should get Justin Fields to get Trey yep. Lance. They build towards the future. And if I'm Arthur Smith or Terry Fott, no, I'll end on this note. You you don't want to get fired with a guy that's not your guy. You, you want to bring in your own guy. Seriously, you want to bring in your own guy. If you lose, you get fired. All right, well, I did it with my guy. Tell your rank is that. But you don't want to, to, to get fired over Matt Ryan, a 36-year-old Matt Ryan. Not a young Matt Ryan. Not the 27-year-old Matt Ryan. Yeah, you're talking about our Matt Ryan, who they, they keep changing. New offense coordinator, new offense coordinator, new offense coordinator. Well, then when is it we're going to start blaming Matt Ryan? We're so, it's 26. You're going to take a look at the Falcons' defense? It, yes, but it's 26 passing touchdowns. Great. When you have a 43-year-old who comes to the division throwing 40. When you have a Drew Come Brees on, who missed a bunch of games. Come on, Jansen. Who throws two less touchdown passes. No, it's just oh, he's better than Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, it's just, that what you're gonna say? It's he's just better than Teddy Bridgewater. Is that what we're going to say? Who, I haven't checked the numbers that? on it, but I'm Who's, pretty sure that Matt Ryan probably has the least touchdown passes for any quarterback to throw over 4,500 yards in NFL Yeah, history. I agree. Maybe. I'll stand by that without having actually okay. checked the stats. Okay. My thing is this. What, how many times, Adam, are we going to blame the defense, the offensive line? How many why years have we done I it for Drew Brees? Why am I paying How many years money? have we done it for Drew Brees? He has a Super Bowl. Okay, one. Ring protection. Hasn't sniffed another one since. Ring protection. When you get Ring a Super Bowl, you, you, you get leverage. Okay, Matt Ryan's been one, too. He and his coaching it. blew it. He didn't oh, win his it. coaching blew it. He you gotta win. His coaching blew Jansen, it. Jansen, seriously? What? It's all of the coaching. They didn't score. This Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan offense. had a fumble. Matt Ryan had a fumble. Matt Ryan had a fumble. Why can't Matt Ryan rally the guys around and say, look, we are going to take this game over. We're going to close out the Patriots. Why can't that happen? Bruh. Why is it that happening? As much as I would love to rehash Super Bowl 51, <laughs> oh, we're not going to do that today. <laughs> you, you know, That's that makes me you. smile, but hey, man, got time. Got we're not going to do that. <laughs> we'll stick to the Falcons for today. Man, so 
I just want to go ahead and put this out there, and I've been saying it for a while now. Falcons fans should be elated that Matt Ryan is still their quarterback and still wants to be their quarterback, bro. One of the best pocket passers in the NFL right now, and I confidently stand by that. He's definitely a game manager. He can lead you to a comeback. He's a top 10 quarterback every year, and I said before we got on the air, and I'll say it again, look at the numbers. He's top 7 to top 8 every year in touchdown passes, touchdown interception ratio, passing yards, completion percentage. Matt Ryan is still a quarterback that can get you to a Super Bowl. He can win you a Super Bowl, but here's the thing about him, and a lot of people don't understand this. He's good, not great. He can't overcome a bad coaching situation. It's got to be laid out for him. It's like Kirk Cousins. It's got to be laid out for him. Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen got to be out there with, you know, Kyle Rudolph. He's got to have Dalvin Cook on him. So I think Matt Ryan, the Falcons should be happy that Matt Ryan still wants to be there because I don't think he's the problem. Trading up, I don't think is an option. I don't think trading up is an option because the way I see it going is you got Trevor Lawrence one, Fields or Wilson at two, and then I think Devontae Smith is going third. I don't want to hear about Jamar Chase. And I know Falcons fans are wanting either Justin Fields or Zach Wilson. And me just living in Atlanta, I want to see Justin Fields come here being a Dogs fan, not seeing him get his time yeah. with the Bulldogs. And um, But the biggest thing, before we get off this, man, is Terry Fontenot on Dukes and Bell. Shout out to them. Number one sports talk show in Atlanta besides us. You know what I'm saying? But um, Terry Fontenot was saying having the number four overall pick is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. At least he hopes it is. Doesn't that, doesn't that kind of say quarterback? Like, what other player would be a once-in-a-lifetime piece to add to your team to take you to that next level? I agree with you, Adam. Yeah, absolutely me, offensive nobody. line isn't going to propel you immediately. Let me add okay. you to this. You're not going to take Najee Let's Harris or Travis Etienne at four. So, so th- this, this is what needs to happen for the Falcons. So I need y'all, Falcons fans, tune in. Listen up. This is what you do. You keep Matt Ryan for one more season. Why? Because he's a $49.9 million dead cap hit if you try to trade him. You're already in cap hell. You cannot afford to move Matt Ryan. You keep him for one year. You don't move your draft pick. With the number four pick, you pick whatever quarterback you have graded highest. Whether that be Justin Fields that's available. Whether it's Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, Mac Jones. Whoever it is you got on your radar, pick that guy at number four. Let him sit behind Matt Ryan for a year. And just learn the system, learn how to practice, learn the ways of the NFL. Doesn't have to come in and start right away. And then use the rest of your picks. So you got a second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth that are all at the very beginning of each round. Now you can turn around and address your needs at running back. Get a Travis ATN. You can turn around and then get defensive backs, get edge rushers. Everybody outside of the running back position in your draft, well, after you get your quarterback, it's just needs not, to be defense. Yeah. You know, quarterback of the future, running back, all defense. Then you can move off of people. Yeah. Because your issues last year, you were last in the league in pass defense. Yep. People were throwing the ball on you like you were just dead trash. And they were trash you running were, the football. And they had you're injuries. second in rush defense, but that was because they could they could pass the ball on you. Mm-hmm. If I know I don't have to run the ball, be like, hey, my quarterback's about to go for 400 yards and four touchdowns because your secondary's trash. You don't have an edge rush. It's just straight taking candy from a baby all day. Yep. So that that was a lot of what their issue was. So that that's what it's going to be. I'd love to see Najee Harris in a Falcons uniform. It's just not going to be customary to take Najee's him that early. getting drafted too high. They might be able to get ATN. Now, Najee will be probably a late first round running back to a very good team. Oh, yeah. Well, him and ETN, are good. they're going to blow it up in the NFL, man. They're going to be great. Oh, yeah. But they the Falcons need to hold on to the pick, yeah. pick the next quarterback, and then get your running back, and then go defense. Trade Matt next year. He'll only be a $26.5 million dead cap hit yeah. in 2022. Yeah. That's a far cry from 49.9. That's $50 yeah. million. You, you cut the cap hit in half by keeping him for one more year. He's not bad, but he's serviceable. And as I've told you on multiple occasions, Matt Ryan is Jared Goff with an MVP. <laughs> Do not say that when we're talking. Oh, talk. my God. Say I'm wrong. 46 <laughs> touchdowns. Went to the Super Bowl. Lost the Super Bowl to the Patriots, might I add. Same guy. <laughs> Only difference is he didn't get an MVP. I- 